Hi there, I'm Tim Wong with NVIDIA, and what you see before me is the Drive AGX Thor Developer Kit. The Drive AGX Thor Developer Kit enables the development of safer, smarter autonomous vehicles and transportation solutions. It is part of NVIDIA's three computer solution for accelerating autonomous vehicles, NVIDIA DGX for AI training, NVIDIA Omniverse and Cosmos for simulation and synthetic data generation, and Drive AGX Thor for deployment into vehicles. The developer kit is built on NVIDIA's Blackwell architecture, next generation ARM CPUs, and the advanced NVIDIA Drive OS 7 software stack. It delivers 2,000 trillion flops of AI compute, along with various I.O. for sensors and vehicle bus integration. Let's take a closer look at the Drive AGX Thor developer kit and see what's included. First, you can see the paper insert with a QR code directing you to developer.nvidia.com slash drive slash start. You get a bunch of USB cables to connect between your host PC and your development kit. This is the Mate X to Fakra splitter, supporting up to four cameras or displays. You get an HMTD four-way splitter and a six-way splitter. This is the one gigabit ethernet adapter. You can see the RJ45 port on one side and the HMTD port on the other, as well as the USB-C port to supply power. Now let's take a look at the Drive AGX Thor developer system unit. This is air-cooled and air gets sucked in from this side and the exhaust air blows out of this side. Let's turn it around. The back side has all of the ports. This is where you have the main power switch and this is where you plug in AC power. The AC power cord is not provided and you can either provide one your own or purchase one separately. The first column is for cameras and displays with seven Mate X quad connectors, all clearly numbered so you know which one supports what. There's a full-size display port for monitor out. The next column is for ethernet connectivity via an HMTD four-way or six-way connectors. It is important to note that the included ethernet adapter can be only used with the HMTD six-way connector like this bottom one. At the bottom, we have two vehicle harness connectors. The vehicle harnesses were not included with this kit, SKU-10, because this is meant for desktop or benchtop use. SKU-12, which is meant for in-vehicle use, does include the two vehicle harnesses that connect here. There are four USB-C ports at the bottom. The important ones to use and to connect your host are the second for recovery mode and flashing and the fourth for debugging. Lastly, these are the PCIe ports. Let's set up our host PC. This one is running a fresh install of Ubuntu 24.04.3 LTS desktop. I've already installed the latest NVIDIA driver for my GPU, SSH, as well as the latest Docker engine. Let's start by going to developer.nvidia.com. Click on the person icon at the top right. Click on account in the top dropdown. Click on my programs on the left. Click on the members area button. Click on the top link for Thor. And we're going to be spending the majority of our time going through the Drive OS 7.0.3 installation guide for NVIDIA developer users. Here's the introduction showing that there are two ways to make everything work. NVIDIA, MV Online, and NVIDIA developer users. We're going to focus today on NVIDIA developer users. Let's quickly scroll through the requirements. Here are the hardware and software requirements. There are different variants of the Drive AGX Thor Developer Thor Kit. The one we are working on today is the D00 model with a Drive AGX Thor X. This is where you can find the part number of your kit. Now we're looking at the configuring container registry access and again going to the NVIDIA Developer User link. Let's open up a second browser tab for ngc.nvidia.com. Because I show up as guest, I'm going to log in at the top right, enter my email, select Drive, and then Drive OS SDK, select Private Registry, select Containers on the left, enter Thor in the search bar, click on NVIDIA Drive, click on the Tags tab, copy and save the NVCR string at the top right for later use. The version build information at the end of this string will be very important. Click on Setup. Click on Generate API Key. 
select generate, select personal key, enter a key name. The duration for 12 months is fine, so we won't change that. And for permissions, select NVIDIA private registry. Select generate personal key, copy the generated key and save it for later use. Now let's open a terminal window. Let's log in to the NGC container registry. The username is OAuth token and the password is the API key you just created. You should see a login succeeded message. Then we'll go to install NVIDIA Drive OS. We need to build our pull and run command for the Drive OS Docker container image. Replace the version build with what we saved earlier. Replace workspace with the directory of your choosing and then hit enter to start the pull. This will take a few minutes to complete. Once you see the agreement language and a root prompt, the Docker pull and setup is completed. You're now ready to develop code on your host PC, cross compile it for Drive AGX Thor, and then transfer and run the code on Thor. After you connect two USB cables between your host PC and the developer system, namely the USB C ports U2 and the debug port, it's helpful to also open a terminal window on the host PC, run the LS USB command to check that your developer system is connected correctly. You should see NVIDIA Corp Tegra on platform operator listed. You can also use Minicom and connect to the developer kit's MCU. The developer kit is already running Drive OS 7.0.3, so there's no need to flash it. So I'm gonna skip over this section. You can see that there are a number of additional Drive OS packages available on NGC. You can also go to GitHub and run the CUDA samples. There's a lot more information online. You can find it at developer.nvidia.com slash drive and then slash setup slash start slash downloads or slash documentation, depending on what you need to do. Let's take a closer look at the documentation resources. You can see that there are a number of useful documents like the product brief, the hardware quick start guide, the mechanical guide, sensors and ecosystem vendors, as well as various software docs. Thank you for watching and please enjoy your new Drive AGX Store developer kit.